I started my training ah. in uh, karate back in the late 70s. And around 1990, I transferred uh, what I was doing into Jeet Kune Do. And from there, it just kind of happened uh, sort of organically that I got into the mixed martial arts. I've been doing mixed martial arts long before it was popular with the general public. And I've been taking students in, I guess what you would call mixed martial arts, for probably 15 years. Mixed martial arts is a combination of many different styles of martial arts put together as one thing. You have a stand-up uh, component, striking, where you're using Western boxing, kickboxing, Thai boxing uh, type techniques. Then when you get in closer, you're engaged with the person. You're using clinching drills, again, from Thai boxing, from Greco-Roman wrestling. Um, and then ultimately all onto the ground. So you need to know how to take a person down, how to stop from being taken down. And then once you're on the ground, how to control the opponent on the ground uh, so that you can finish the fight with striking or with a joint lock or a choke. I think the main thing that the Penn Hills Martial Arts Center offers that is not offered at other school is an ability to combine the different arts and to tailor those arts to the individual. I can take a guy, a young guy who wants to train and get into the ring and compete. I can teach him to do that. I also have some people who are just interested in general fitness. I have a, a number of female clients who don't really see themselves as fighters at all. They just want to get into good shape and they find out that the, the, the workout that they get here is superior to the workouts that they would get at a gym. I used to just run when I would work out, so this is a different workout for me. It really trains different muscle groups. I used to virtually do no arm workout or arm exercises at all, so it's really working different groups of muscles that I find beneficial even when I do go running now. There's also the, the uh, personal training component because I'm working with them and again, I'm tailoring what we're doing to what they want to get out of it. If they want to get a little bit of self-defense, then I start working in some self-defense. If they want to just get into better shape, if they want to lose weight, whatever it is that they want to do, I try to tailor that workout towards them. So the ability to adapt and adjust to the individual, I think is something that we offer that most schools do not offer. I had had a baby and I wanted to get back in shape and started working out with Dan and the results have been so much more than I could have gotten in a classroom. It's just a much more personalized workout. I've got a bunch of guys in their 20s who want to get in the ring and fight. i got a bunch of guys in their 50s who just want to feel like they can take charge of their own personal security. And again, they're looking for a different type of workout. They've been to gyms, they've done this and that and the other thing, and they didn't quite feel like they got the same workout as they get here at the gym. Certain days I'm feeling better than other days, and we'll go a little bit harder. Other times we go a little bit easier. So it, you can train to what level and how you feel for that day. So it's really anybody at any age capable of doing this. My goal in teaching is, is always the same no matter who I'm teaching. I want that person to get a great workout. I want them to gain some usable knowledge in mixed martial arts or self-defense. And lastly, I want to make sure that they have an enjoyable time while they're doing it. Um, and probably the last thing is the most important thing. Because if you don't enjoy what you're doing, then you're not going to do it. They're not going to come back. So. Um, the important thing is to break down the material and to give it to a person in a way in which they can understand it and then through repetition um, they will develop the technique and just as importantly they will develop the self-confidence it takes to perform the technique. I've learned to strike so I can hit pretty hard for not a big guy but I really kind of like the ground. I like the grapple, I like to roll around down there and arm bars, chokes, triangles, things like that. It's a lot of fun. Everybody who is interested in learning how to fight and defend themselves can find something in mixed martial arts that's going to help them. You don't have to compete to train in MMA. Uh, I think just if you're trying to get in shape and better yourself, you can do it. It's, it's the hardest. I mean, I've worked out and ran my whole life, and it's second to none as far as cardiovascular. It's great cardio for me. It's a great workout. Um, it's helped me lose probably 15, 20 pounds already. Um, and I just feel healthier with that changed my uh, lifestyle, my mentality, um, man, I'm just living healthier. Working with Dan and coming to Penthouse Martial Arts I think has gotten me
probably in the best shape that I have ever been in my life. And I did that wasn't really the goal, but um, I could. I don't think I could ever give it up. It just drives you to be a better person, uh, tighten up every aspect of your life. This is a wonderful community. There's all kinds of people coming together, from pro fighters to people who are just trying to get fit. And Dan has been my most influential teacher, and I've had quite a few. It's a fun workout, and I also think it's very rewarding. It keeps me fit, and I try to stay on top of my game. I find that uh, it helps me mentally. It's a good release. It also helps me physically. And then, for the last reason, if, if you have an issue, you probably can handle it. It's, it's a great workout, um, regardless of your age, uh, regardless of your, your, uh, your abilities. The best thing that's happened to me in a long time.